When you find a roadkill, it is very badly damaged. There are still some salvageable part of it. Why waste the specimen? Why throw it away? Make it into art. Make it into an education. Taxidermy is the art of preserving the dead. It is the process of skinning, mounting, and making it as lifelike as possible. You normally have the carcass, then you have to sanitize it, you clean it, skin it, remove the organs, and mount it back to make it as lifelike as possible. But of course, there are many other chemicals and processes involved depending on the specimen. A taxidermist actually needs to be very precise about detail as well as having a vast knowledge about wildlife and animal structure because each animal that you deal with is different from reptiles to birds to mammals so each of it involves a different process as well as handling. I've worked in museum for at least five to seven years and we have this very standard operation procedure where everything needs to be mounted in a certain way for scientific research. But I see much more potential in it where I can bring art into it, make people appreciate it more. So by adding flowers, maybe crystals and making them into different forms, you can actually appreciate it more as if it was alive compared to a common science setting. The kind of animals that I have done taxidermy on, there are plenty, especially when I was with the museum. Mainly, I only deal with wildlife. But here in Singapore, mostly it is uh, farm animals, your domestic animals, as well as pets. Pet parents sense, taxidermy actually helps them to cope with the loss and the death of their pets. When you have your pet taxidermy, you actually have the living memory of it you feel very, very emotionally attached to it. It's just like looking at something you had before and you are still having it and it really holds close to your heart. There are pet parents who want to preserve or have a part of their diseased pet with them. From having an entire dog mounted, making jewellery or even pendant or even a frame as a memorial too keep it with them all the time because they can't bear to see their pets buried, they would always want to keep a piece of it with them. Whereas for collectors, it is more of a passion on how much species they can collect or it is just a hobby. Some of them actually bond through their collection over time where they talk to them every day, they give them brushes every day or even just pet them every day. I am a very scientific person. For me, death is just death of the brain, where you cannot move your nerves anymore. So, that's it. What it means to be a taxidermist personally is that I can make things beautiful again. I can make things pretty again. I can make things be admired again so that they have a sense where they are not just being abandoned or decomposing underground. Here we have a couple of tawny coasters, the male and the female, all set up in this very beautiful dome with preserved flowers. You can look at a butterfly and see there are scales, there are antenna, there are three segments of the body. So that is what taxidermy is about. It is to educate people as well as it is a form of art to bring people closer to nature. The common misconception and stigma associated with my job is that I kill to make a profit, but that is entirely false. I am an animal lover. I do not support any kind of killing. All my specimens are already passed on when they are delivered to me. Either that or road kills and also donations from people who found road kills from the sidewalks. There are many rules and regulations regarding animal protection in Singapore as well as the world. For black crow, we do not deal with any protected or endangered species as well as human part. We are always in talks with relevant authorities as well as engaging lawyers to make sure that we are in the safe side. And it is a very grey area so that we don't cross over the line where we accidentally deal with things that are illegal here in Singapore. Which part of the cat or dog do owners request to be preserved and can be preserved for memory's sake? 
you can preserve actually any parts of your pets, from the skull to even just the paws, the fur, the tailbone, or even the heart. Can the entire body be stuffed? The answer is yes, the entire body can be stuffed and be mounted into any position that you desire. How long can it last? Taxidermy items, the properly preserved ones without any elements from insects or attacks from pests, can last forever. It depends on how you clean them or how you actually store them. Whether the temperature is right, whether you move from one humidity to another. Is it common for people to preserve or stuff their pets in Singapore? Yes. There are actually many customers who reached out to me where they say they want to have their pets preserved but then they can find no one of the skills to offer that service to. Is there a plan discussed prior to the pet's passing or do we have to quickly contact you before the body decomposes? There is always a planning process but let's say if you have a pet that just passed away, it is best if you can get the body to me within three hours before it becomes stiff or start to decompose. If you can't give it to me immediately, you can always double bag it and put it in the freezer. What do you do with the blood? How do you get rid of it? How do you drain it out? The process of taxidermy, if you skin an animal well, there is no blood at all. This is all entirely up to how skillful you are. There is no one blood spilled throughout my time doing taxidermy, except for the time where I have to cut through the entire body to get to the heart. And there will be at least five liters of blood depending on the size of the specimen and you can drain it out using a tube or just wash it away. Can you preserve the eyeball? This is a very famous question and the answer is no. You can't preserve the eyeball to make it look as real life as possible. The eyeball will always turn murky or cloudy. That wouldn't have that soul in it anymore. You can always have a fake eyeball for your pets and make it look as real life as possible. What happens if you break or fail a piece of the body from a client? Do you do refunds? This is all up for discussion again. It depends on how badly I break the item, but so far I have not done any breakage at all. How much does it cost to preserve your pet? From a hamster, you are looking roughly around 120 to 150, depending on what kind of mounts or what kind of setting you want it to be, whether in a teacup or in a dome or a frame or just plain hamster, that's it. For dogs, it might cost up to 2K to 3K. It also depends on the size of your dog, the breed of your dog, and also what kind of form do you want it to be in. Of course, if you only want me to do just the skull, just to preserve the skull in a frame, it would probably cost around 300. So all of this is actually up for discussion as because the process and chemicals used are all different. In the end, it's all science and we are all creation of God, so it's a very beautiful thing to enjoy. And Black Cloth Taxidermy emphasizes on education, using taxidermy as a tool to combine nature, art and science together.